Hey, and welcome to that thermal guy. Today we've got some footage from a snowstorm. This was a pretty heavy one. I'd qualify it as a blizzard. Uh, we were looking at temperatures in the single digits and the whiteout conditions. I uh, couldn't see very much further than mm, 10 to 15 feet. So, without further ado, let's take a look at how these whiteout conditions affected the thermal signature. And we'll do some comparisons with old cans and perforated mylar and copper mesh. Alright, so starting off, this is really in-depth snowstorm. You can see me walking out here and if you look at my pants, you'll see that I'm trialing a new idea. Now what I've done is layer up uh, several pieces of mesh and rolled loops, taking it and then looping it and sewing it to the pants and creating another loop and sewing it to the pants. So that's that effect on that left leg that you're seeing here. And then what I did was I took some of that camo netting and sewed it over the top. So it's regular BDUs, the looped mesh material, and then the camo net. Just gonna speed things up here. 100 yards. And it's 100 yards. So now this is interesting. Looking at the car, you can kind of see it coming into view here. Now this is only 100 yards out on a vehicle. Now thermals usually pick this up super easy and you could barely see that car. So it gives you some idea for just how in depth this so storm is. So this is just looking at winter clothes first. There I am in winter clothes doing my little thing. And that's just normal, regular, insulated winter clothes that anybody would wear out. So this first thing is a layer of Ulcans. That's what I'm picking up right here. And I'm holding that up. That's a single layer of Ulcans. So you can see how much it deadens the signature. It's not a, a huge amount, but you can see it does deaden the signature quite a bit. And what I will say is to look at the area where I'm wearing that kind of quasi netting thing over the, the one side of my leg. And you can see that that part of my body is really difficult to pick up. The, the spots where I'm not wearing insulated gear, well, that's, that's easier to pick up. So, for use as a hide, and that's kind of what I'm doing right now, it's just kind of holding it up and trying to keep it away from my body. Here I've double layered it, so there's two layers of Vulcans in front of me, between the camera and me. And again, this is just kind of held off from the body. Um, I move around back and forth just to add a little bit of movement there. And you can kind of see where my leg is lagging behind as I'm walking it gets exposed. It gets you a pretty good idea for how well it works. And then obviously not using the Alcans. Now I'm pulling out the copper mesh. So here I'm lifting the copper mesh, holding it up in a single layer in front of me. And you can't even tell. This really surprised me because the copper mesh did really good on the close up testing here. So this is me with it draped over my face, literally just draped. Um, and I really expected there to be more here. I thought it would be a dramatic block. Um, just to be on the safe side, I doubled it up. So here I folded the copper mesh over and then again, put it over and really you can't tell. I had, my signature doesn't look like it changed at all. This really surprised me. I expected a lot more from the copper mesh. Um, at this point, I'm breathing hard on it, trying to heat it up because I expected it to have completely blocked my signature. So I'm blowing hard on it, breathing hard on it, trying my best to heat it up because I'm expecting it to have completely blocked my signature and trying to create a hot spot when really I didn't need to bother. You, you can't even tell that I'm, I've got there. And this is doubled up after breathing hard. That was my movement there was double layering. You can't even barely tell at all. You can see when I take it off there, I mean, my face gets a little brighter, but 
it's not significant. This is pulling out the perforated mylar. Um, and <laughs> goodbye. It's pretty much a total block. Um, now the upside, this is shiny side out, this shiny side toward the camera. The upside of these heavy snow conditions, that reflectivity doesn't really matter. It's all kind of blocked by the snowstorm. So you don't get that broken fluid mirror effect. And uh, here I've reversed it, so now it's the white side out toward the drape. I wasn't sure if it would make a difference, so I figured let's try both sides here. Um, so yeah, it doesn't really make much of a difference. Either way, it totally obliterates the signature. Um, now what I did want to see, and I wasn't expecting the snowstorm to completely obliterate that shiny side, the reason I reversed it is because I expected the shiny side to look like that broken mirror effect that you've seen in some of my other videos with the space blankets. Um, I expected to see that, but the snowstorm just obliterates it, so you, you don't see any difference either way. Um, here I'm just holding it up against my body. I'm trying to heat it up with body temperature. Um, white side out. Here I'm reversing it. Yeah, you just, now it's shiny side out. You, you can't make out any difference here. And I think a lot of it has to do with the amount of snowfall. Um, I'm not exaggerating what I'm saying. These are like wide out conditions. On the ground walking, I could only see maybe a 10 foot radius around me. And these were, these were white out conditions. Um, it is interesting to note, if you look down at the, uh, the tracks, look at how persistent the tracks are where I was walking and where the dog was walking. Anyway. Back to it, so here I've got the perforated mylar, and I've got two layers of Vulcans. Again, I wasn't really expecting to get a whole bunch of blocking out of that perforated mylar, so I figured I'd layer it up with some Vulcans too, just to see. Didn't really make a lick of difference. Um, yeah, that perforated mylar did an amazing job, especially in the snowstorm of just completely obliterating the heat signature. Um, that's pretty much it, but in this walkout, take a look at the, the pants that I'm wearing.